everyone. Today we are now going to discuss about the river meandering, which is one of the important landform that is found in the fluvial process. And river meandering that can be developed due to the erosion or deposition work at the middle course of the river. The river meandering refers to the the bent of the longitudinal course of the river. Longitudinal course of river. The word meandering has derived from the Turki of a small winding river. So is meander having a two types of slope which is known as the slip of slope this slopes especially associated with the deposition also known as the convex slope and this is the concave slope or cut off bank acid with the erosion geometrically the rivers can flow in a straight way always it will flow in a sinus curve And this sinusity index is measured by the ratio between the channel length and the valley length. Suppose here x and y is the channel length and valley length equal to So, sinusity index equal to channel length divided by value length. So, a river having a sinusity index, if this ratio is more than 1.5, then it is called the sinus river. And this shape generally expressed as the S shape curve and mathematically also known as the sine curve. In 1863, Ferguson stated that there is a close relationship between the meandering wavelength and the width of the meander. In 1960, Scrum stated high sinusity of the channel is associated with the high proportion of the silt and clay. How, how this meander is formed? This meander is formed when the moving water in a river changes its speeds of water. The eroding sediments from the outside of a vent and depositing them on the inside. And this combination of the erosion and deposition helps to expand the size of the meander. <clears throat> and this result is the movement of a snake pattern as the stream meander back 
and fourth approach it is down valley cell access. Actually, the flow, the flow of water which is occurred to development of this erosion and deposition is known as the helical flow. It is the measured flow of the main development bed and this flow is causes, this is called the helical flow which is causes the elevation of the water level on the outside of the meander. So morphologically, it occupies morphologically, it occupies a position of the downstream from the bladed stream and the upstream from the delta in the fluvial system and they are most commonly formed in the coastal region which is characterized by a single channel in contrast to the multiple channel. The development of the meanders is caused as a result of the disruption of the uniform flow across a channel <coughs> which is caused due to the sediments <coughs> slope or gradient and bed roughness. These are the factors that is causing the disruption of the flow in the course of the river. So there are several features has been found in the Meandering course that we will discuss now. Another features that has been found on the meandering belt. First is a channel like <coughs> this channel like is below the common floor of the coarse material. It's sorted out and left behind on the stream bed. Point where. In this point where the sediments accumulation on the convex side of the meandering belt or meandering roof. Overbanked deposit.
This type of deposits generally formed the sediments of river on the valley floor outside the stream channel, resulting into di different layers of the sand deposition. Natural levy. This natural levy, the mounds of the soil piled up along the river edge, and each time when the flood has occurred on the river. Crevices supplies. Spiling of the large quantities of water and the sediments at the time of the flood from the river bank is stored. And finally, the ox bully. This oxbow lake created when the growing meanders intersect with each other and cut off a meander roof. Then the oxbow lake is created. So these are the basic features that has been found in the meandering belt. And uh, we'll discuss next about the fluvial landform in our next classes. Thank you.